This is the Q from Comments Bearing Sci-Fi. I'm here at Cobo Hall. We still call it Cobo Hall, the ones that remember. <laughs> WWE Hall of Famer, the Godfather. Joe, how about the Joe? Oh, I always love the Joe. I used to go to the Continental Championship at the Joe. Yes, I did. I was cheering you on, that's how I know. <laughs> you just a kid there. Yeah, but I still love the, the, the loved you and, of course, the train girls. Yeah. Of course, the girls. And call them hoes anymore. Politically correct. They're, we don't call them hoes. We call them hoes anyway, but if they want political correctness, we'll call them working women. Nothing wrong with that. We're, we got that. Working girl. Working girl. <laughs> Are we just waiting on the rock so you guys can get inducted as the nation? I, I don't have any official word. But I would assume that's the that, you know problem is you can't put us in until you put him in, and he probably wants ten million dollars to be put in. So it's going to take a minute. <laughs> listen, listen, we need y'all in the Hall of Fame. They got It's up to the Rock. They can't put the Nation in without the Rock. So I would assume it's over money with him. So we'll let it go with that. Okay, we'll let it go with that. I ain't mad at him, man. I'm I'm, I'm proud of him. No, we all are proud of him, man. You know, to see where he came from. I'd be proud of him if he put us in a movie. I would be proud of that as well. <laughs> Maybe he can put you in that new Fast 20. <laughs> he can put it somewhere. Tell us about The Nation, because I really want to talk about that. And I watched The Table of Three and how you guys had to do with the controversy of it and the style of it at the time. How did that affect you personally coming out? I mean, it's wrestling. So, I mean, people either hate or like you anyway. They hated us. And personally, I loved it, man, because we did our jobs. Yeah. And uh, the, the, it was there to put the rock and put him on the pedestal that he was. We were all good friends to this day. We're all good friends. I got Ron Simmons over there. Dilo lives in Las Vegas. I'm signing with Mark Henry in a couple weeks. So we made a lot of good relationships, a lot of good friends. And uh, Ron, Ron Simmons was the main force behind the nation. And Ron helped more Ron tried to help the black guys more than anybody did. So, you know, he, he's a good man. But. And, and being the way that they used to portray African-Americans with the gimmicks, I think that was a very important gimmick moving forward. I think it was positive. Was Papa Shago positive? No. Stereotypical. How about Godfather? We love him, but he was stereotypical. <laughs> he's stereotypical. <laughs> but we like him. We like him. <laughs> See, we make exceptions for the Godfather. But yeah, hey, I never thought it would be as historical as it was, man, because, you know, we were just doing our job and, and, and trying to help each other. Okay. So what is your take on the current product today? Do you think every time they tease a new nation, they, they go in another direction. But I think in order for it to work, one of you guys should come back and actually start. It'd have to be Ron or D-Lo, because I'm done. I'm done. I'm up here being bad. D-O-N-E done. You will not see me ever. I am done. Um, you know, I don't watch wrestling anymore. Nothing against wrestling. Respect the business, love the business, made some good friends, made some money. But I just don't watch much TV anymore. And I'm always busy doing something, so I haven't watched wrestling in years. But what I am glad for is that these groups like AEW and all these other groups yeah. that are giving the boys another avenue to make money, yeah. I'm down with that, man. And you know, I'm not here to, 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 to doo-doo on anybody's generation or the new product. All I can say is, I'm very proud to be part of the Attitude Era and to be part of that day. And everything else is gravy, man. All right, and last question. Tell us about the smoke train. The smoke train. I'm a big stoner, pothead, whatever you want to say. And so now it's the smoke train. I got my own line of cannabis in California called Insane Godfather. It's with Be Real with Cypress Hill and Dr. Green Thumbs. And we do a lot of, uh, a lot of social things with the smoke train. But it's no longer the whole train, it's the smoke train. <laughs>